Hello, I'm Dr. Matt Bertusi, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about a course that I'll be offering in the spring of 2024. Uh, it's called Global Horticulture and Human Nutrition to Enhance Community Resilience and Food Security. And it's a really cool class that looks at all sorts of global issues, economic issues, food security issues, nutritional issues, uh, specifically with relation to horticultural crops uh, and the production of these horticultural crops. So the crops that really you know, feed the world. A little bit about myself. I'm an assistant professor here at the University of Arkansas. Uh, I run a sustainable fruit and vegetable production uh, research laboratory, but I'm also responsible for uh, extension uh, activities as well as a 10% teaching appointment. So the class that I'm talking to you about today uh, is an online class. So I've got that guy, you know, kind of aggressively happy waving at his laptop. And I, I sure hope that you enjoy the class as much as the gentleman in this picture. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that people understand that this is going to be an asynchronous online class. So that means I'm going to upload content. We're going to post videos. You need to engage with that at your own pace and then you interact at a regularly scheduled uh, interval. So we have weekly quizzes, weekly discussion boards, and things of that nature, but we're not gonna all meet together uh, at any given time, unless that's requested like office hours or things of that nature. Uh, we have three credit hours that you'll be, um, you know, that you'll earn in this course. And we'll also have the opportunity, because this is getting to be upper level content, uh, some case studies and some reflections because I'd really like the students to engage with the content and use some critical thinking to say how would I solve this global horticultural issue or this food security issue and you know demonstrate the the understanding that you've developed over the course uh, of this instruction and then we'll have a final exam uh, at the end of the semester the good news is it's going to draw pretty heavily from those quizzes so you'll have some confidence about what are the things you might encounter on that final exam. Um, just so you understand, this course is affiliated with many different institutions. Uh, the course was originally developed as a USDA NEFA Higher Education Challenge Grant. So we have all sorts of institutions where the course is offered, where instructors come from. Um, it started to kind of narrow down a little bit as I've taken over and we've consolidated some of the instruction to University of Arkansas professors. That said, we're still, of course, offering it to any students who are interested uh, at these different institutions. So that's a really exciting thing. I, I hope that the discussion boards are kind of fun for you uh, to see what a student in a totally different part of the country thinks about some of the case studies uh, that might be you know, different from what you think based on where you come from or what you experience with regard to agriculture. And we cover a number of different topics spanning global horticulture uh, with things like famine, food security, uh, sustainable international development, so things like the theory of change, measuring impact of that change, market systems, and then things like human health and nutrition. And that's where you get into um, beneficial compounds and fruits and vegetables, food safety issues, child and maternal nutrition. And this is where students can understand and appreciate why one instructor cannot deliver all of this different content. You're going to have subject matter experts in each of these different uh, sections who have recorded and delivered uh, you know, their expertise on child and maternal nutrition or on beneficial compounds in fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. So you're going to hear from all sorts of different experts and then uh, engage and interact with me as your instructor and then by the end of the semester we'll have learned you know, what it was we were expected to learn. So the last reminder that I have is this course will not be back until 2026. So if you're a junior, this is your last chance in spring of 2024 uh, before you graduate. So if you're interested, I'm asking you to sign up now. Keep an eye out for it in your uh, course catalogs, and I'd love to have you in the class. Thanks.